going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media Channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. Today, guys, we're just going to do a shopping vlog video. I'm at Walmart right now. It's a Saturday afternoon. I have no idea what it'll be by the time I drop this video, but it's a Saturday afternoon right now. I had to go to Walmart to get some stuff, so I'm going to film the movie section, see if they got any new stuff out. We're also going to go to a Half Price Books as well and do some thrifting. And yeah, I, I love the in-store shopping experience. I just don't get to do it as much anymore because not enough places have movies, but we're gonna go to two locations today. And Walmart's, you better not disappoint me. I don't even know what Walmart would have. It's been maybe like three weeks since I've been in a Walmart to check out the movie section. And it wasn't this Walmart um, that I went into. So yeah, I, I'm excited, I guess. I'm always excited to check out movies in stores. That, that feeling um, will never go away. I feel like so until the movies go away in the actual source, which will probably happen at some point in the next couple of years. But anyway, guys, look, I'm excited. Um, you know, half price books, Walmarts, maybe I'll go somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough time, but I appreciate you guys watching being here to follow me on this journey. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, here we go into the lovely, beautiful Wally world. Hell yeah. America. And here we go, pretty much a normal Walmart movie shopping experience in 2024, at least for me. Empty shelves. We got a DVD of Twisters. You know, we got uh, the Blu ray of A Quiet Place, Bad Boys, 4K. So, I mean, we got some stuff, but not a, not a lot. And we'll stroll back into the to the main section to see if they got anything. The shelves are more stocked back here and they still got some Frogman editions. Like I said in my unboxing, this is a standard slip cover, just a regular piece of cardboard, whereas the TerraVision version, if you get it online, it's a little bit thicker cardboard, or, I mean the one that I got. Uh, we got All My Friends Are Dead with Jojo Siwa. Um, I'm sure that's great. Is this the Blu-ray version of the Babadook? I don't think, no, it's the DVD. That's the new 10th anniversary edition of the Babadook. You got the Beast Within on DVD. Uh, let's see, yeah. All the same crap. Well, we got some new Walmart stuff. You got a Succubus movie. Seems like it's a Succubus on your cell phone. Some kind of dating app Succubus. Arthur the King. Got Chucky season three on DVD. Uh, most of that stuff on the bottom is stuff I've seen before. Arcadian, Fall Guy, a lot of DVDs, guys. Yeah, this, uh, this Walmart goes back and forth. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it sucks. But it's never good for, like, long periods of time. We got Alice in Terrorland, whatever that is. Um, yeah, it looks fantastic. Stop motion. Looks like they... They still don't have their steelbook section anymore. I guess that wasn't doing well for them. They got the Christmas DVD section, though, now. Well, they got the Patrick Stewart Christmas Carol. That's pretty cool. But that is a DVD. I don't even know if that has a Blu-ray. And then all the rest of this stuff. Most of these movies are on 4K. Christmas movies. Oh, they got a, nice, they got a cool cover for a Christmas Story Christmas. That's different. But this has never been put out on Blu-ray. This is only on DVD. This is on HBO Max, actually. Um, but that, that's a cool cover. I like that movie. I really like that sequel, Christmas Story Christmas. And then you got some Lifetime movie sets. That's cool, I guess, if you like that stuff. House of the Dragon, Yellowstone, Night Gallery DVD, The Classic Adams Family. I said recently in my review I hadn't seen this show before. So if I wanted to get the Adams Family on DVD, I could for pretty cheap. It's not a bad price, $17.96. The Munsters. Yeah, I need to I need to collect some more TV, some more old classic shows that I might want to have in the collection. And we'll keep strolling. I'm just gonna walk all the way down, guys. Oh my god. We got the Granny Krampus and Krampus Return collection. Look at that. Look at the look at Granny Krampus. Oh my goodness. That was worth coming in here, just that. Oh, yeah, just the, the basic stuff, guys. They never, they never, you know, they don't change it up too much. 
here at Walmart's. All right, so I'm checking out the Blu-ray DVD bin, and I'm actually noticing some titles they've marked down to a dollar. So Dream Scenarios in here, and I don't know if this will be the same at every Walmart, but it's a dollar on Blu-ray at Walmart. And they got several of these in here. So I wonder if everything in here is is marked down to a dollar because they're trying to get rid of it. But this is actually a good deal. There's 10 Westerns in this set. Like we don't care about DVD, like it's a dollar to get all these movies. Like that's, that's kind of a steal because some of these are really great movies. Um, but you know, you got a classic Westerns collection. I don't know if everything in here, this is a six movie set for a dollar, like I said, pretty cool. All right, so pretty much a bust as far as the movie section went. Uh, let's go to the Half Price Books and see if we have any better luck. All right, guys, we have arrived at the Half Price Books, looking to get a good deal. Haven't been here for quite some time. I think it's been at least like two or three months, so hopefully they got some new stuff. Let's do it.
All right, guys, so I'm done. I'm out of half price books. I, I spent a little bit more than I wanted to. Usually I, I try to limit myself at 20 bucks in half price books, but the prices have gone up quite a bit in half price books and they completely, which I don't like at all, they completely got rid of their clearance section for Blu-rays and DVDs. Like they, they replaced it with like anime stuff and I don't know, they changed some stuff around. It's just half price is not what it used to be but it's still an in-store shopping experience that I do um, appreciate. And I actually found some decent stuff. One I was kind of excited to get. This one that I'm gonna show off first is an upgrade uh, from a Blu-ray that I have, and that is Split on 4K. So this is a this was 11.49. And Split on 4K, is it's been on uh, Groove.com for like 10.99 forever now and I don't know what it goes for on Amazon but it usually hovers around 10 11 bucks so I figured 11.49 for a 4k upgrade with a slip cover which I would not get if I ordered off a of Groove or Amazon at this point was a pretty good deal and I've got unbreakable with the slip cover and I've got glass with the slip cover so it's nice to have all three of the films on 4k with the slip cover now and it's been a while since I rewatched this one but I do really really enjoy split um, I think it's definitely one of M. Night Shyamalan's best movies. So excited to give this one a rewatch in 4K for sure um, at some point. Then I went, went ahead and picked this one up because I've seen this one here before, um, but it's usually like eight bucks and it dropped down to six dollars. And when this came out, I heard like decent things about it, but I didn't hear like an overwhelming positive response for it. But I did get Antebellum on Blu-ray. I know there's a 4K. I do know that there's a 4K, but I figured Blu-ray would be fine a newer film it's okay which probably sounds weird since i just bought split on 4k but that was to match my other two okay uh but antebellum i went in and grabbed this one on blu-ray six bucks uh with the slip cover as well and like i said i i did want to watch this one when it came out i just didn't hear like great things about it so i kind of just put it on the back burners but nice to have that one in the collection with the slip cover and i've been watching a lot of found footage movies recently all the hell house movies um, and then Frogman, I just watched last night as well. I may be talking about that on the channel at some point soon, but I got uh, Chernobyl Diaries. I missed out on this one when it came out. Now this was $6.99 on Blu-ray, which is a little bit more than I want to spend for a Blu-ray if I'm being completely honest, but I figured this was a, you know, a decent price for this. It probably goes for like 10 bucks or $11 on Amazon or something like that. Now it'll probably get like a Screen Factory Collector's Edition at some point as these movies tend to, but uh, I, I'm fine with just having a standard Blu-ray of this one. And it's one I did want to check out. I feel like I heard like good things about this one, but for whatever reason, I just didn't ever watch it. But Chernobyl Diaries, let me know what you think of this found footage movie um, in the comment section below. But that's all I got, guys. All that, I think, for, for 24 bucks, one 4K, two Blu-rays, not terrible. Like I said, a little bit more than I wanted to spend. They did have that deep red uh, VHS. And the last time that I was in there, that was 50 bucks and it dropped down to 30 bucks. So I'm going to keep holding out hope that maybe it'll drop a little bit more um, the next time that I come in here. And not a lot of people in my area really know about or have heard of Deep Red enough to spend $30 on a VHS copy of that movie. So I'm hoping it drops down just a little bit more in price because I would like to have that honestly, but I didn't want to spend uh, $30 for it um, in this trip today. But I love Deep Red. That's my favorite um, Dario Argento movie. But that's it, guys. We went to Walmart. We went to Half Price Books. Nice little um, in-store shopping video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Comment down below whatever you want to comment. What have you been buying? Have you bought anything in stores lately? Or are you just kind of uh, strictly doing online ordering at this point. Let me know all that in the comments section below. Turn on bell notifications for future videos and, and uh, you know, follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description and we'll see you next time.